Hello guys, welcome back to another lesson. This lesson is a prerequisite for fifth grade on how to regroup with mixed numbers. Okay, let's get started. So let's talk about what we're seeing. What are we looking at? The first thing you should notice is that the denominators are the same. So that means I don't have to make any changes to the denominator. But the next thing I want you to look at is your numerator. Do you have enough numerator to subtract? Remember, this is subtraction, so this is quite important. So what I want you to notice is that I have a 2 here, but I'm trying to take away 4. I do not have enough. So I'm going to have to regroup, guys. Yes, regroup. There are so many different approaches on how to solve this problem. So I'm going to choose one way. In class, I will show you another way, okay? Or maybe, maybe I'll do another video showing another way. But there's more than one ways. So the first thing I want you to take a look at is our regrouping. So let's think about what we're doing. We're going to take away 1 from the 4. If I take 1 from 4, all of you guys know we're going to be left with 3, right? So I'm going to put a 3 here. I want you guys to understand the procedure and the steps. So I'm going to show you guys um, multiple steps. When I take a 1 from the 4, I'm going to add the 1 to my fraction. But... I'm not dealing with whole numbers, right? I am dealing with fractions. So I need to represent the one as a fraction. So now I have two fifths here, which is the original number that I had before. But the one that I took, I'm going to add it here. But guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to represent my one as a fraction. It becomes five over five. Now, let me tell you why I use five. I use 5 because my denominator is 5. And I also know that 5 over 5 is equal to 1. So what I'm going to do now is to add my numerators. So I'm going to rewrite this. Let's write it right here. I'm going to put 3 and 7 fifths. Now I have a denominator that is greater than... I'm sorry, my numerator is greater than my denominator. So, no, I'm good because now my numerator is bigger. I'm going to put a little line over here for my student whose 7 looks like a 1. Not 7 looks like a 1. Who one? Whose 1 look like a 7? This is definitely a 7, not 1. And then now I'm going to write my mixed number that I'm going to be subtracting. So now, here we go. This is my new fraction. So I hope you guys understand what we have done so far. So now let's go ahead and follow my procedure. I am going to subtract the whole numbers. I'm going to go ahead and mark that. That's my whole number. I'm going to subtract that first. 3 take away 2 is going to give me a 1. And 7, take away a 4, is going to give me 3. And my denominator stays the same. So my answer is going to be 1 and 3 fifths. Okay, guys. See you soon.